Hey guys, Hen and Jules here in the Rode studio. Uh, it's a bit of a work in progress. We haven't quite finished it yet, but we'll take you on a studio tour when we finish it. Yep. So a lot of you have been asking us how to get the best audio out of your DSLR or mirrorless star camera. And that's exactly what we're going to be showing you today. Let's get into it. So it all started back in 2008 when DSLR cameras came to market. Fast forward to now and DSLR and mirrorless style cameras are better than ever. They produce great images, they look amazing. But, 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 but there is one thing that hasn't changed since then and that is the internal mics on the cameras. And how do we put it? They kind of suck. Got that yeah, I know. I'm a bit, I went to the gym, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting swole. I'm getting swole. I'm too big. So here's how to get better audio with your DSLR or mirrorless star camera. So first of all, you want to make sure that your camera audio levels are always set to manual. Yep. And the reason that's important is because some cameras have a function called AGC or automatic gain control. And this automatically boosts the preamp whenever you have quiet bits in your video. And this is exactly what it sounds like. And then when I start talking, you're gonna hear the camera try its best to adjust to the change in volume. So another thing you can do is boost your mic's output and then turn down your camera's preamp to as low as possible. Mm. And this feature of digital boosting can be found on any of the VideoMic Pro series, including the VMP Plus, which has a plus 20 digital boost on it. So the golden rule to remember here is the harder you work your preamp, the more noise that you'll introduce into your audio. So by sending a really strong signal from your microphone will mean that your camera preamp won't have to work as hard. Make sure your subject is loud enough. Yep, for example, Heen's got a really soft voice, so we made sure she was talking loud enough into the room. So normally what we do is ask her what she had for breakfast and she'll talk about it. And then we'll watch the levels and make sure that they peak up around minus 12, minus 10 dB. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. So if your camera preamps are really bad, what you might want to consider is an external recorder. Yep, and usually preamps on these external recorders are pretty good, better than cameras. Uh, that can even extend to iPhones as well. So you can use the Rode Reporter app. This is free in the App Store. Uh, you load it up with the right connector to your video mic and you're good to go. Just remember that you have to sync your audio and video in post. So a lot of DSLRs will have a wind cut filter, but it's better to turn this off because it usually does some strange things to your audio. And if you're going to do this, you should definitely get a furry windshield for your mic as this will protect your audio from wind noise. So you can use the limiter on your camera as a safety in case the audio gets too loud. Mm -hmm. Or you could use the safety channel feature, which is available on the VideoMic Pro Plus. And what this does is it gives you a nice backup just in case you get any peaks or loud distortion on your audio levels. To actually turn on safety channel with your VMP Plus, all you need to do is press the power button and the gain control button at the same time, and an LED will appear, letting you know that it's active. Another really simple thing that you can do is to physically get your camera and move it as close as possible to your sound source. Yeah, that's right. And playing around with focal length and lenses will allow you to do so. Burst. So you can even record FX and Foley on set with your DSLR if you think of it as a recording device. Yeah, it'll save you time and it'll actually up your production value. Hmm. Okay, so to wrap it up, guys, don't use your internal mic. Don't use auto levels on your camera. Turn off camera assist and filters and avoid straining your camera's preamp. Lastly, try to get your camera as close to your sound source as possible. So that's it, guys. If you need any more information, you can find it in the description below in the blog post. Uh, like and subscribe, comment. We love hearing from you. That's right. If you've got any suggestions for other videos, just leave them in the comments section below. And until then, we'll see you guys later. Bye.